Tonight, the latest developments on a bizarre story in the Outer Banks. Two men found dead in Dare and Currituck counties this holiday weekend. Meanwhile, one suspect facing two murder charges. News 3 investigator Zach Dahlheimer talked with those who knew the victims and brings us new details this evening about the criminal suspects past. This is right near Etheridge Road in Manio in the Scarborough Square neighborhood. I want to take you back behind me. You can still see caution tape set up in between these two homes over there for something that many neighbors that live in this community are still trying to wrap their heads around. I think it's crazy. It's all I can think about is it's just nuts. William Basham recalls finding out a family friend, Michael Barry, was found dead this past weekend in Manio. I just knew him since he was a little kid. He was a good guy. We just kind of got freaked out and we just stayed in the house. For Alondra Lopez, she says she saw a dozen cops around this area of her neighborhood Sunday near Etheridge Road in Manio. This is where um, they were all at and then towards the back too. Authorities found Barry and determined it to be a homicide. Meanwhile, a suspect, 37-year-old Jack Wise, is in custody. News 3 investigates looked into Wise's criminal past. Records show in 2018, Wise was sentenced on felony charges of breaking and entering and larceny. He was released in March of this year and placed on parole. I'm lost for words, honestly. It's, it's really shocking how that could happen in Manio, you know. Dare County deputies say they then contacted deputies in Currituck County, requesting a search for 68-year-old Norwood Armstrong, who had been reported missing and was eventually found dead in the woods of the Grandy area. Currituck County Sheriff's officials say SWAT search and rescue team members responded right here to Macedonia Church Road, where they found a body in a wooded area. Armstrong's body found on Basham Street. My son actually told me the Michael Berry got killed in Manio, and then a man put it up in the yard and told me that another guy got killed. Wise is being held in Dare County with no bond, charged with two counts of first-degree murder. Officials tell us they anticipate further charges will be brought against him. What led up to the deaths and the relationship between the three men remains unknown. As for Lopez, she hopes questions will soon be answered. I just think it's um, a lesson for everyone. Be careful with your loved ones and stuff like that because you never really know when their last day is going to be. And if you have any information that could help this investigation, you can call the Dare County Sheriff's Office. We have that contact information right now on our website, WTKR.com. In Dare County, Zach Dahlheimer, News 3.